and we're going to start with Everton. Now, we, we've talked pre-season before about how important it is, and my understanding is, obviously, never played the game at the highest level like you, but my understanding is, pre-season, you read nothing into it whatsoever. It's just about getting your fitness levels up for the start of the season. Mm. Now, Everton put out a, a pretty strong side, probably one of the strongest they could have done last night against Minnesota. They lost by four goals to nil. What does yep. that tell you about where Everton are at the moment, if anything? Nothing. Absolutely it doesn't. Nothing. It really doesn't. No, I don't think it does, and I think what it... it, it if if you're a supporter or you're part of the media that are, are thinking Everton are going to go down, that's when it means something because you can play on that. Similar to Liverpool versus Manchester United. If Liverpool would have won 4-0, it would have been Manchester United are doomed, it's too big for Ten Hag. It's, it's pre-season. It's what happens on the first game of the season that counts. Probably not even only the first game. The first six games, you get a real feel of where you're heading in the season, in what direction. And I think Frank Lampard now needs to find his identity. I think he's come in, didn't realise how big the job was going to be for Evan. I think we discussed this in our in our pre-show meeting. Didn't really think he was going to be in a relegation battle, but they was. He's kept them up. Now it's about finding an identity. He's lost probably one of his best players, if not his best player, Richarlison. Someone else has to step up now. M- maybe it's a year for Deli Alley. Do you think so? There's uh, video footage of his miss, his open goal today. Yeah, again, that don't read nothing. Anything. No, it no. don't read nothing into it. It builds confidence if you're if you're taking chances. But that would have been four one. I don't think Frank Lampard will be looking at that. If you can take any positive out of that, which is difficult, I, look, I've missed chances like that. Probably not in a game, but in training that and. You know, the, the lads take the mick out of you and stuff. But if you can read anything into that, that he's arriving in the right area. So mm. he's arrived there. OK, he's, he's hit him on the hill and it's gone wide. I don't think you take anything out of that at all. If you're going to have a bet right now as to whether or not Frank Lampard would be the Everton manager at the end of the season, and you've got either yes, he will or no, he won't in front of you, which button are you pressing? Uh, yes, he will. Why do you think he will? What, do you, what have you seen in Frank Lampard that tells you that? Because Everton fans, they're split. I don't think they are. I think they're more with him. I think they would have been split, obviously, if it went down, but they didn't go down. He kept them up, and he, he he's af, af, everywhere he's gone, OK, he's not really taken any clubs forward, in my opinion, but everywhere he's gone, he seems to get a real good rapport with the supporters. And first and foremost, that's the most important thing, to get the supporters on side with yourself and on side with the team, which is what he's done. He's got rid of, what, his best player for a lot of money, they need to sign more players. They've got Tarkovsky on a free, OK. They put out a strong side and lost yesterday. But he, he just needs to have an identity, which he will. And like I said, I, I'm, I'm back, I think I'm back in Deli Alley to have a good season. And Why? Just because there's a player in there and we're not seeing it for a long time. And I think he has to have a good season. If he doesn't have a good season this year... I think he's going to edge towards the end of his career and he might even end early in his career. Who knows, or he'll go out to America. So this is the year that he has to come good. And with their best player leaving, it opens up a slot that someone has to grab that team, grab the games by the scruff of the neck. He didn't do too well the back end of last season, but you come in pre-season, it's a new fresh start. What is Deli Ali good at? Arriving in the box, assisting, scoring goals. Who was the best of my generation probably to do that? It's Frank Lampard. So yeah. he's learning off the best. If Frank Lampard can't get a very similar type of player in terms of arriving in the box late to play well, then he's not going to have... I okay. think he's going to just dwindle out his just, career. Just quickly as well, what are Everton Football Club? Would you say they are the biggest underachievers in the Premier League at the moment? No, I think they're they're achieving what they should have achieved last season. See, they, th- they they were. They I were think poor. they're bigger than that, though. Historically, they're bigger. I think if you look at so you, when you look at Everton, you think they're a side that should just avoid relegation. Last season, yeah, because they didn't no, perform I, on the pitch. I don't mean results. I mean as a club. So well, for well, argument's sake, when you're talking about a club, yeah. right? I look at let's say Palace. Yeah. Right. If someone says to me Palace, I go twelfth. 10th, yeah. right? Historically, yeah. right? that's probably where they are anyway as well, right? If you look at Manchester United, historically, yeah. you're going to go, they should be knocking on the door, okay? With Everton, historically, they're a really, really big club, yeah. right? It wasn't that long ago. In my lifetime, they've been champions of the old first division, yep. okay? I think they're one of the biggest underachievers in the Premier League. They should be so much bigger and better than they are. Well, they... <laughs> Last season, yeah, they, they massively underachieved. They were poor. So they were down there for a reason. They weren't good enough under different managers and they stayed up. So now you have to build on that. And this is why I'm saying Frank Lampard should try and have an identity for Everton. He's tried it towards the back end of last season. Didn't quite work out in my opinion, but he kept them up. So now build on that. And yeah, I think an Everton football club, we spoke about teams yesterday just 
just in tier two, trying to break into tier one. That's where I see Everton should be. They mm. should be in that tier two, trying to get into into the top six. And th- now they have to build, they have to back Frank Lampard, which they've not done yet. If they do that, then I can see them rising up that league a little bit more. 